The Battle of Mu is an example of a force overcoming the odds. An army of approximately 50,000 fought and defeated an opposing army of up to 500,000. The battle resulted in the fall of one dynasty and the beginning of the longest reigning dynasty in Chinese history. I'm Josh. And I'm Dave of Nerd and Dragon. And today, from our Battles That Changed the World series, we take a look at the ancient Chinese battle of Mu. The Battle of Mu took place in 1046 BC. It took place in ancient China between the ruling Shang Dynasty and the rebel Zhu State. The Shang Dynasty was the first Chinese dynasty and had ruled for over 500 years. The dynasty was strong, respected and held in high regard until the reign of Dai Xing, who at first was seen as a good and just ruler but in later years became an immoral, drinking womanizer who ignored almost all affairs of state and concentrated himself on his lavish, gluttonous lifestyle. To fund his parties, orgies and expensive tastes, Dai Xing introduced heavy taxes and became a very cruel ruler, dishing out cruel and unusual punishments and executions for his enjoyment and as entertainment for his guests. The people quickly came to resent him and even his family attempted to remonstrate with him, but he shunned his brother, had one of his uncle's hearts ripped out and imprisoned his other. Dai Xing became a little worried about an uprising and he imprisoned King Wen of Zhu despite Wen being an ally and military leader who had campaigned with him and served him well. The Sheng leader clearly saw Wen as a threat as he was popular, was growing in power and was a good soldier and leader of men. Wen was eventually released and raised an army of his own and conquered a few small states loyal to the Sheng dynasty, slowly weakening Sheng allies. Di Xin paid little to no attention to these attacks, partly because he believed that he was appointed by the heavens, but mainly because he was too busy indulging in his partying lifestyle. Wen died before ever facing the Sheng in battle, and he was succeeded by his son, Wu of Zhu. Wu waited a few years before leading a revolt on the dynasty as he was waiting to receive a heavenly order to attack and conquer the Sheng. Unsurprising, Wu's rebellion was greatly supported by the Chinese population who were poor, starving and fed up with high taxes and the ruthlessness of Di Xin. King Wu of Zhu led an army of 50,000. Part of Di Xin's army was at war in the east, but he still had more than half a million troops defending his capital city of Yin, and to ensure a victory, he also armed around 170,000 slaves with weapons. Unfortunately for him, the slaves refused to fight for him and defected to join the Zhu army. This defection demoralized the Sheng army, and many troops refused to fight or join the slaves in defecting. Loyal Sheng troops still fought on, and in a brutal and bloody battle, disciplined Zhu troops with higher morale and better training, defeated the Sheng army. All loyal Sheng troops were killed, Dai Xin escaped and fled to his palace, which he set on fire, surrounded himself with his precious possessions and committed suicide. The defeat at Mu and Dai Xin's death ended the Sheng dynasty and marked the beginning of the Zhu dynasty, the longest lasting dynasty in Chinese history at 790 years. The Zhu dynasty oversaw the introduction of Taoism, Confucianism, legalism and the development of written script among many other schools of thought and inventions. Josh here. We hope you enjoyed the video. Do you have any suggestions of battles that you would like to see us explore? Let us know in the comments below. Liking the video helps us out massively and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you all for watching.